All right. It is on. Just need to check. Okay. We are live, we're live. So, we, or rather I, finished that on my lunch. Hey, Amir, first. Yes, yeah, so last, like yesterday lunch, I, I finished, uh, finished the rodent. Uh, So now it's time for a new one. It is not finished, finished, but it is finished as much as I will do it on online. Maybe on extra streams, but that's how it ended up. A continuation of yesterday's. Um, so today, hey, Captain Pouse. So today, let's do another character. Goodbye, Rodent. So, some, some uh, how about some suggestions, please? Hey, Nereida. Welcome. Welcome, Nereida. Great to have you back. Hey, Zeli. Good morning. And Jenny. And Atsuki. So the topic, the direction of topics is fantasy, dark fantasy, right? So we got Emissary of Darkness, pretty cool topic. Pumpkin Fairy, I think that could be turned into something scary. Good morning, Sharks, how's it going? Scroll Goblin, ooh. Wood Guardian, Dwarf Hunter. Is that something that hunts dwarfs or a dwarven hunter? Hmm. Mounted Beast, Ghost of Woe. All right, we got some killer suggestions. So as per usual, this is not the dice. It's when I click it, we will see. And number three, Ooh, which is number three. Let's see here. Uh, scroll Goblin. That's pretty cool. Scroll Goblin. I like myself a scroll goblin. Scroll Goblin. Hmm. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool. What can we do with the scroll? The first idea I had was like a, a, a nimble goblin ninja wizard. <laughs> bear with me, bear with me. So the idea, as I, I kind of had in my mind, right, is the scroll goblin uses scrolls to kind of teleport in and out, but he uses it as an assassination move, right? So the the goblin is like a golem. It's like a, a golem thing. Sitting on a ledge, kind of. And uh, he uses scrolls uh, that he has. Like a... For, for assassinations. Hey, so much buzzers, how's it going? <laughs> good morning, man. Or good night for you, I guess. Yeah, scroll is, um, Captain Bowes is like a papyrus. You know, that rolled up roll up piece of paper with an inscription on it like something is written 
this way off. Maybe he has the scrolls on his back, like swords, rather than a scroll there too. So much monsters, huh? <laughs> nice. Lazy. Lazy asshole. <laughs> so aggressive all of a sudden. It's crazy. My apologies, sir. Hey Bruno Romanos, a food breakfast, how's it going? Hey Orion, how's it going? <laughs> Strong move, sir. Strong move. Talking to yourself in your own wardrobe and uh, you don't understand why no one is replying. It's, it's a strong move. Hey, Holmes. How's it going? Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure about that arm. Well, it kind of works. Kind of works. So a goblin, obviously. This is, I'm going to go for Lord of the Rings style goblin ish. Some of my own concoction, obviously, but you can only go that far with a goblin, right? The trick is, I don't want to go too stylized. And straight off the bat, I'm going like super big ears. Shit, move. That's great, so much monsters. Yeah, I, I, I ca caught a, a little bit of that in the morning while I was having my coffee. It looked pretty good. A bit, for me, was some strange sound choices with like broken melody. Maybe you changed that, but for me, that song didn't work for me whatsoever. <laughs> but who am I to judge? Hey Quentin, how's it going? So much monster, uh, no man. In all honesty, I tried my best to like it, but I had to switch your channel off. <laughs> That's how much I uh, appreciated that strange broken melody song. I was like, hmm, I see what you did there, Joe, but no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just couldn't take it. I don't remember if it was Spanish, it was just broken melody, you know, I just couldn't take it. The jarring in my head in the morning as I was having my breakfast coffee. I was like, nope. I love you, Joe, but nope. Did I switch your channel off? <laughs> and I was just about to write as well. This won't do. This won't fly. <laughs> Picky eater. Yeah, Captain Jet Jetlag. Where are? Where is Captain Jetlag? He thinks he's better than us. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. He's there in his mighty castle, on top of the the tower of the castle, is Captain Jetlag on his horse at the top of the tower, at the 
the, the, the peak of the tower. Tower, the tower tower. Captain Jetpack, yeah, Jetlag. So much monsters. <laughs> All right, man. You do that, buddy. I'll have a look and let you know if if that's the one that made me switch off your channel. So, this scroll goblin, as he's using magic to teleport himself to assassinate, it would be cool if he took souvenirs. What if his spare time hobby is to collect ears? So he doesn't kill the people. He just teleports in, slices your ear off, and puts it in his necklace, like Vietnam War trophies. So he's like, n not the tooth fairy, but the air, air fairy. <laughs> the ear fairy. That's a mouthful. Everyone like hates him. Everyone in, in, in this fantasy world is walking around with missing ears. Because <laughs> the damn scroll goblin is stealing them all the time. Hey, Kutsub Sam. Good morning, man. <gasps> Good morning, Mumu. I think that was a pretty cool, like, I think that's a interesting character, right? So in that sense, if he always teleports in the slices parts of, like nose tips or ears, let's give him like the sensation of rubber, rubber gloves, right? Because he is operating. And maybe cloth fingers because he cuts himself all the time so it's like bloody cloth at the end wrapped and his jagged blade he has to have a jagged blade it can't be a smooth smooth cut right it, it has to give you an infection Hey, Tormod, how's it going? Good morning, Tormod. Uh, he needs ears for his scrolls? Yeah, maybe. But in what sense then would he... Why would he need ears for a scroll? Does he trade them for a wizard that has like an ear fetish? The wizard is like, yeah, sure, Goblin. Take another scroll. Just bring me more ears. And he's like, yes. Could be. Could be. Or he's just a messed up goblin that loves it to, to humiliate people by taking body parts from them. And like, poof, poofs in and out of existence. Poof, shh, fuck, my ear. Damn ear goblin. Hey, Sibaka, how's it going? A voodoo breakfast. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. He needs them to to activate like the, the, the blood of a the blood of a human. Like he maybe he needs the blood of a human um to to write the scrolls, right? And uh, what better part what better move than to cut the part off quickly? And ears and noses are you know, easy targets. Right? It's harder to, you know, cut any other body part off because it's attached to the body, right? The ear is easily grabbable. So is the nose. Just maybe bite the nose off and poof. Rather than um, fingers, you know, then he needs to hold the hand down.
does he have pliers? That's a pretty that's pretty messed up, right? Hi Sibaka, welcome to an extremely dark warm-up here. I'm designing I was asked to design something on the topic of scroll goblin by Nereida. And I've concocted this character, which is a scroll goblin, which is an assassin that teleports in and out. And he he collects ears or noses for some reason. Uh, we're currently thinking that he needs the blood of a human to write the magic scrolls. And uh, what easier uh, target than uh, extremities, you know, like noses and so on. <laughs> yeah, it's an extremely dark, dark, uh, dark one today. We're going deep, deep in the dark fantasy hole. Could be a cool. I mean, I I already like the idea of the character, right? He's a, it's a tangible character, the scroll goblin. You can you can touch you can touch him as a character, right? At least in my mind, I I, I, I for me he is realized. I I already see him moving and teleporting in and out, slicing ears off, and noses and people just like <laughs> collapsing. Yeah, exactly. This just, just you can just easily chop, chop it off. Like if a finger, you need to capture the finger. There's bones and all sort of things. Yeah. You like drawing succubus? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I haven't drawn a succubus on the warm up. So, um, Sibanka, as you are new, I stream at the same time every day, right? And um, what I do is I ask for a topic, and the stream is live for half an hour. Then I have to continue doing uh, work. But um, at the beginning of each stream every day, I ask for a topic. So today, Sharta uh, won. Uh, oh, no, sorry, Nereida. Nereida won. Um, so I'm doing Nereida's topic today. Uh, tomorrow, I will most likely detail this one up a little bit more but come Wednesday or Thursday Thursday I will um, do another character so you're more than welcome to join it's the exact same time every day uh, come and give a suggestion and what happens is I, I roll a dice so it's a properly randomly generated uh, choice rather so it's unbiased choice rather uh, with the aid of a dice, and that way, it's a fair fair shot for everyone. First six topics to be picked. Hey, Eric Moy. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Shartha, yeah, you won with Bob. Uh, some of you maybe missed, so I'll open. So this is where I took Bob yesterday. I avoid for A A. <laughs> Amir, that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty cool idea. I mean, obviously, they they contain a lot of power, but I think like eyeballs would probably hold the most power because you know it's the it's the window to the soul and all that. We, we humans are very dependent on, it. but the same as for hearing, he, you humans or things are dependent on ears a lot. So obviously, that would mean it, it contains power. 
magical power. Where are we with time? We're halfway. All right. Pretty decent. Pretty decent for halfway. But he also, uh, obviously, the scroll goblin obviously is an assassin. So he, he does kill people. But his hobby is collecting. Well, he needs the body parts, right, for, for to, to keep the momentum of scrolls. I mean, nothing stops him when he's out of scrolls to just go and, uh, you know, like go old school, just walk up to someone. And then when he has another body part, he can conjure up a new spell and start the start the start it all, you know, use his magic. And the radar, yeah, that's pretty cool. Tongues, but t yeah. I mean if he has pliers, he can just chip. Hey, Speedy Dude, we're conjuring up a new character. Uh, today is uh, Nereida won the draw, and she said Scroll Goblin. And I'm conjuring up a, a pretty messed up assassin that uses uh, body parts to write his scrolls so he can teleport. So the goblin uses teleportation scrolls to, you know, kill. What he also does is he pops in, in 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 existence next to someone, lops their ear or nose off, and then spoofs away, and uh, he uses that to to make another scroll. Oh, the scroll, the scroll trader. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that day when Lantern Animal is picked, it will be a sweet, sweet day. But I can't prioritize, right? It has to be luck of the draw. So just keep saying it one day the odds will be in your favor and you will get Lantern Animal. Whoa, my stomach. My stomach did an audible growl. Audible. Shasta. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see I can see the goblin like taking an ear and whisper and mock the person. Whisper in the cut off ear. Hey, Mr. Fault, how's it going? How's it going, Mr. Faulty? Hey, 
eight minutes. It's okay. For eight min, uh, for twenty-two minutes, it's a pretty decent sketch so far. At least we captured the character, right? That's that's what was important. We don't need to guess the direction anymore. It's established. Not sure I I like the hair. I think it might be the execution rather than the idea. <laughs> Captain Boss. I mean, other other warm-ups have been realized further. But I think what what works with this one in particular is the concept is is clear, like the idea of the uh, the assassin is established quite early on. So it's, all I've been working on is, on is just the presentation of it. Right? How how do we perceive the the shapes and the design? And I think that itself was pretty early established. Which is good. Um, so now it's just a technical exercise. Uh, making it readable. Design reads, idea reads, I'd say, to some extent, for a sketch. Mr. Faulty, yeah, it's good fun with dark fantasy stuff. I'm loving it, loving it as well. You can up the the kind of maturity a bit, making it scarier, darker. A little bit more serious, even though this is quite stylized. I want to. I do want to push it in more realistic fashion. I think the nose is very, it's very stylized. It's not realistic at all. But there's a balancing act you got to do with, in terms of how far do you push it so it's still readable a goblin. Four minutes. All right. It still works. Let's uh, let's try to at least try to get a little bit more readable design in the pliers here, so it comes across as that and that it has somewhat of a design so that when people look at it they go oh okay with i don't have it to question why he has pliers could give them like nasty teeth uh, you know like uh, the tooth is not flat the tooth has uh, jags jagged edges so it's like full on grip Like snow boots, you know, those studs.
Yeah, I can't wait to uh, put this guy in color. I think it'll be fun. That's going to be tomorrow. Give them some colors. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely, Captain Bose. That's that's how I see this guy as well. Definitely very bouncy and agile, but not like martial arts agile. There's no somersaults involved. There's no there's no uh, flashy moves, right? It's pure agility, just like a cat. You know, a cat doesn't somersault on pirouette when it jumps. It just has precision. And that's how I see this guy. It's, there's no no fancy stuff. Unless he wants to, you know, like uh, tease someone when he cuts the ears off. But it has to be precision. It has to be accurate. You know? It doesn't come across as the flashy type guy. Springy, yeah, absolutely. And I kind of want to give him backpack ish thing. I kind of like that shape that it feels like he has the scrolls inside his backpack and it's hugging his upper torso. Does goblins, goblins, do they have hair or are they smooth? Nareda, that's true. It's a little bit like sticks. Uh, depends on the goblin if they have hair. Yeah. I mean, I can see them having, like, I call it moped mustache. You know, like a young man's mustache. When, it's, when it isn't really a mustache, but it's also not smooth. I call that moped mustache. Because you're around that age. In Sweden, it's common that you get a moped before you get a car because you don't allow to get a car until you're 18, right? So at 16, etc., you can go by moped. So that's my association. It's like a moped mustache is young, half half man, half men. <laughs> Bomb fluff. <laughs> The mushrooms. I mean, uh, sure, Urukai was farmed in the ground, right? The Lord of the Rings. Oh, they're genderless. They're everything. Makes sense. Doesn't need to be a male or female. They're just equally middle of the road funky. Both. Well, there is no gender, right? So f female, female goblins are the same as male. Shartha, that's true also. World of Warcraft do have genders on their, on their goblins. So, who's right, who's wrong?
Okay, time's up. I like this. Thank you very much for the topic narrator. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to add colors to this. I'm quite sure of it. Um, yeah. Fun stuff. So, uh, let's see who we can raid. Is someone doing anything interesting? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, ads, come on. I don't want to watch ads. That is freaky. Let's 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 raid that person, whoever that is. Oh, I raided him before. I didn't like the way he talked. And let's not raid him. For me, he was like uh, he had a he had an attitude. So screw that guy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It looks well painted. Uh, let's raid Christopher Kent. Thanks everyone for coming. Have a fantastic day. Uh, good night if you're in that part of the world. See you guys tomorrow at the exact same time. Um, outro time. Toodles.